Hey, welcome back everybody. I hope you'll sit down and enjoy this with me, but this great race, the Bathurst 1000, is phenomenal. This road course is nuts. In the comments, everybody said I should look at this. There's nothing like it. This is Mount, Mount Panorama. This is Bathurst. Mark Larkham. I'm really excited, very interested. Let's check this out, man. Beautiful. I race a two and a half mile road course, a flat track over in Kansas, very little elevation changes, but still it's a two and a half mile road course and it's a lot of fun. So I find this very interesting. <clears throat> Pardon me. forget it. You never forget it because there's nothing like it. This is Mount Panorama. This is Bathurst. As soon as you head Let's out go. on this mountain, it Our is mountain commitment for every single millimeter. Crazy Australians, man. They built a two and a half mile road course on a mountain. <laughs> Imagine the elevation changes. We're about to really see it. If you can't make the judgment call 120 meters into a thousand kilometers to just be a little bit sensible, don't start the race. The super cheap auto Bathurst 1000 erupts. And the charge to turn one. Great corner, second gear, the engine's right in its sweet spot. But remember, whilst you've got to carry mid-corner speed and use that exit curb, you want to get to 100% throttle early, so don't get too greedy. Right. Don't get caught up in the moment. The <sighs> moment is six hours later. Side by side on Mountain Street. If I can offer you one free bit of advice, every single time you exit the pit lane, Grab your belts and you tighten them. And every other lap you think of it, you tighten them again. And after a pit stop, whether they've changed the brake pads or not, tattoo it under your eyelids. Pump the brake pedal. Because if they put the pads in and you forget, fuel on the road, you're a goner. Yeah, Griffin's Ben, right? It's one of the toughest on the circuit. If you don't get this one right, psychologically, you're gone for the rest of the lap. It's about 260 on the way in, remember? And you've got to knock off 130 k's an hour. But you've got to do that on the bumps on the way in. But let me oh, give you a tip. Car's jumping. challenging for Griffin's Ben, either make the commitment or get the hell out of it. We're approaching the cutting. If I can't tell you anything simpler than this, there is one racing line up there. Make sure you're on the tram tracks. There is no room to put your front right tyre even a foot outside of where it needs to be. Wow. Oh, the track is jammed. Wow. So imagine racing at 200 miles an hour and those elevation chains and you come up over a hill blind and there's a mess in front of you. Whew. Gonna be more of a mess, eh? Hug the wall. When we come up to Reed Park, you need to hug the wall. Put the car right over there, hard on the wall. But be careful, don't overuse the curb on the inside. It'll feed you into the wall. Driver here. Oh. This is a great part of the circuit where we go from going up the hill and we transform to going down the hills. And no more beautiful sight than your revs in front of you. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. So we're out of Reef Park and now we're going to head down to that damn grate. 
right? It's a horrible, dirty drain up against the wall on the right-hand side of the circuit. Now, the problem here is you've got to commit really, really early. And you don't know, because nowhere in Australia does your front tyre and your car get more downward load than at the grate. You don't know way back then if your power steering is going to suffer it or it's going to give up and feed you into the fence. So we've got through the grate. We're now heading through Sulman to McPhillamy Park. This is Mount Panorama. What a view, This is where you need to be thinking corners ahead of where you are. You can't see the roadway up ahead, but you're going to average from the cutting all the way to skyline around 200 kilometres an hour. This ain't kids play. Matt, oh, play oh, big moment. <clears throat> So you've got through the top of the mountain, you've done the tough driver stuff. Now, throw that bit away, you're going to be a ballerina. That's the view from Skyline. Go for broke time. You're going to need to dance all the way down through the S's. The descent starts. Until you arrive at the dipper. The dipper. When you get to the dipper, yeah, sure, it looks really cool with two wheels hanging up in the air. You can't get the throttle on, can you, with two wheels in the air? Get the thing back on the deck. And the moment your rear tyre hits the ground is the same moment your right foot hits the firewall. <laughs> it's the firewall. Now weave through Bury the it. Walls, but don't get I gotta back that up, man. Mark. The thing back on the deck, and the moment your rear tire hits the ground is the same Hit moment it. your right foot hits the firewall. <laughs> Grab it and growl. through the concrete walls, but don't get too clever and trying to get an inch away from them. There's nothing to be gained by doing that. No way. elbow this is the second time and the only other time in the lap that you're not going to feel your front tide you're going to come over the little crest there downhill and a ton and a half she won't want to pull up oh, look at this. so this is where you need to be really measured slow it up because your big drama here is going to be understeer the car does not want to turn there they're tagging, they're tagging. for goodness sake be aware of what's going on around you. If there's one gap you can leave open for your competitors, it's right there. Think about this. You need to either position yourself out right, commit yourself to Conrod straight and your top speed, or you're going to need to defend, because that is one of the great spots for attack. And if you're going to defend, there is nothing surer. You are going wow, to what a straightaway straight with that hill. Speed. Can they get so airborne? If you defend, you defend. You block him, you pull him up, so you get your foot to the gas first. This is wild. This is as fast as it gets. 300 kilometers an hour. Holy shit. Now, I don't care what cars you've driven in your career or where you've driven them. There is nowhere else that you're going to go where a ton and a half of race car at 300 kilometers an hour actually feels like a ton and a half of race car at 300 kilometers an hour. And you're approaching what is the fastest corner in Australian motorsport, the chase. You want a tough bit of roadway? That's it. You want to talk about commitment? This is it. You come down here and you'll see there's a meter of tarmac that's been laid down on the left-hand side of that for you to use every single millimeter of it. That. that is an almighty crash. You're going to compromise your lap time and compromise your result. So you need to use that every lap. And why do you need to do that? You need to get the car around there. At 300 kilometres an hour, do not lift your right foot off the throttle until the car is squared up. And when it is, and only then, you put your foot on the brake and you push it so damn hard that you want to bend the brake pedal. He goes, he's in the Last corner. 
So you've got six kilometres of the 6.213 kilometre circuit done. Do not get it wrong here. This kid is going to win this thing today. Finish the job right now. Will Davidson might get this done. Nothing in it. He wins it by a car lead. So that defines this mountain. That defines this race. Do you want to win it? Everyone wants to win it. first beat the mountain, you will never win this race. Just gorgeous. Just beautiful. I mean, beautiful course. That that this might be the greatest road course in the world, man. It's built on a mountain. I believe I've read that Bathurst is Western Australia. Is it west of Melbourne? I'll I'll, I'll do some reading. If you guys don't mind, let me know exactly. I've got to go there. I'm beginning the planning stages of a trip to Australia. I want to check out the pubs. I want to check out the culture the geographic locations, the land, the scenery. I wouldn't mind prospecting for a little gold because that's one of my hobbies. I'm going to Bathurst. I wonder if they'll let me, if I get a rental car, will they, uh, I guess I could go drive around Bathurst at 60 kilometers an hour. I got a lot to learn about this race. I'm really interested. So I started here where you all said to start and kind of learned the course turn by turn. Now I think I want to get into some racing. Uh, Peter Brock and some other guys were mentioned in the comments, so I'm going to get into looking at some of the footage involving these guys and their racing. Looking forward to it. I'm Jeff and Occasional Outlaw. Thank you so much for pointing me in the right direction on all this stuff. I'm having a lot of fun. Nobody's having more fun than I am. You might be having as much fun, but you're not having more fun. <laughs> it's been great. I'll see you all soon. Have a great day.